Water. Earth. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome back. This is going to be my new Avatar The Last Airbender video. There have been a lot of people asking what's going on with the new Netflix series, what's going on with new versions of animated Avatar The Last Airbender series, so we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I will be doing Avatar videos throughout the year just because things are starting to spin up in the Avatar universe. And if you have no idea what's going on, in the past couple of months, there's been talk from the Viacom CEO about new animated Avatar The Last Airbender because of their new streaming service that they're rolling out. So if you remember the big Disney Investor Day that they did a while ago with all the big Marvel trailers, all the big Star Wars trailers for the 10 new Marvel TV shows and 10 new Star Wars TV shows that they're rolling out on Disney Plus in the next couple of years, Viacom is doing their own version of that with all their brands on the new service that they're calling Paramount Plus. I know, very original name, just add plus to the end of your name. And this is me just reading from his comments. He says, in terms of Paramount Plus, we have announced some new entertainment franchises that we're bringing to Plus, The Godfather, SpongeBob, Criminal Minds, Spin Out. But under the covers, our preview launch show that there's other franchises that will work too and have potential, like MTV's reality shows, The Challenge, things like Nick's animated library series, Avatar, and all this is really tip of the iceberg. And we do have other franchises at the company, so you can safely assume that the upcoming announcements will include new original variants of them for Paramount Plus, of all this library stuff that they're talking about. We will, of course, have non-franchise-based new originals to keep things fresh, but I'm not going to get ahead of things and reveal them until we get much closer to launch. So because we're in 2021 now, they're actually getting much closer to doing their version of the Disney Plus Investor Day, where they actually announce what some of that new programming is going to be for the streaming service. Because before he mentioned new Avatar The Last Airbender content, new shows within the Avatar universe, the stuff that he read off, like the Spongebob, the Godfather stuff, a lot of that's not going to get people to pay for another streaming service. But Avatar The Last Airbender has the potential to be one of those big ticket items that gets old fans, the older people now who were fans of the original series when it first aired, and all the younger people who are hungry for something that's a little more complex than Spongebob, who are just burnt out on a lot of the same old, same old that they've been rolling out for the last 10 years. What they're doing with their service, though, is that if you're paying for CBS All Access right now, that's basically their streaming service. They're going to rename that Paramount Plus. So if you're already paying for that, you will get the Paramount Plus streaming service. But if you've been following Mike and Brian for the past couple of years, obviously there's been all this news about the Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix series, the new version of the series that they're doing for Netflix, and there was a big blowout that they had during 2020, as if 2020 couldn't be bad enough. Last summer, when they posted their announcements about why they were leaving the project and all the disagreements that they had with Netflix over the creative on that show, they also slipped in a lot of references about working on potential future Avatar projects within the universe, just on the sly, like, oh, by the way, we're leaving this big Netflix show that we've been talking about for the past couple of years, but we also might be working on some new Avatar projects in the future as well. Because if you remember a couple of years ago, it was at the end of 2018 when they first announced that they were doing a live action Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender version. A lot of people were like, why are they doing it live action? Why don't they just do a new animated series set in the Avatar universe? That seems like a no brainer. Pretty much anybody who's been a fan of the series just wants to see another Avatar series set in the universe during a different part of the timeline with another new Avatar. Viacom is so thirsty to get people to subscribe to their new Paramount Plus streaming service. The only way you do that is with really compelling programming. So no surprise that they've probably been asking Mike and Brian pretty much every year on the regular to do a new animated Avatar series. What do we have here? The way Mike and Brian explained it is when they did the original Avatar The Last Airbender series is that it took them about four years to develop the project. It took a long time to bring it from concept to actual episodes. So if they were to do a new animated series, we might not see it for a while. And there was some clauses in their contract with Netflix that probably stated that they couldn't just turn around and do another new Avatar series right away with someone else like the new Viacom streaming service. They got paid a big chunk of money by Netflix. They also get paid every time the Avatar series and Legend of Korra go to new streaming services. So don't worry too much about them. They just got paid big time because both Avatar and Korra hit Netflix in the last year. 
But just in terms of what that new Avatar animated series would be, I think most of us are in agreement that they should complete the Avatar cycle, or at least go to the next step in the Avatar cycle, and just do a series based on an Earthbender Avatar. Normally you would just assume they would just continue forward in the timeline, but one of the issues that a lot of you have also asked about on my previous Avatar videos is that if they were to do that, then they would actually turn into like a cyberpunk Avatar series. Like, do we want an Avatar series where they're walking around with iPhones? Remember, during Legend of Korra, they're kind of in like the 1920s, 1930s era. They have cars, they have airships. So if Korra lives for like another 40 or 50 years, you're basically really close to present day with modern day technology. There's been a lot of fan art of the Avatar characters in modern day clothing, and it actually looks pretty cool, but I don't know how cool a series set during that era would be. So the obvious conclusion is that they should just do a series with an Earthbender Avatar set in the past, and who is the most notable Earthbender Avatar set in the past? It would be Avatar Kyoshi, of course. Just do an Avatar Kyoshi series. If you haven't been reading all the expanded material, they just released the Rise of Kyoshi in the Shadow of Kyoshi novels, but it only covers a little bit of her life. And it's actually really, really fascinating. I would say just in terms of avatars that they've actually done a good job of developing within the other shows, Kyoshi is at the top of that list. Next to Avatar 1, she's probably the most hyped up version of the avatar that just hasn't gotten her own series yet. Avatar Kyoshi is like the stabby avatar. In fact, during those Kyoshi stories that they just published a little while ago, she has her own version of a Darth Vader Rogue One hallway scene, just wrecking a bunch of firebenders. We've even started to see a lot of fan animation for Avatar Kyoshi series, and it's actually pretty solid. What do you think you're doing? The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this I just like good times. Good times are over. As cool as that is, if for some reason they just didn't want to do an Avatar Kyoshi series, they could do another Earthbender Avatar from somewhere earlier in the timeline as well. I just don't see them doing a modern day Avatar series. It just doesn't feel like the series would work as well if you did it in modern day. There was also a big Avatar The Last Airbender reunion this past day. I haven't had a chance to watch the entire reunion video. It was mostly the cast and the crew just getting together, talking about their favorite moments and their memories from the series. Dante Bosco has been like a thousand percent more involved with Avatar since it hit Netflix. He also clarified that he would still love to be involved with future Avatar projects. I mean, his voice is so identifiable. Even if he played another character, the minute you hear him talk, you instantly think of Zuko. You know, when, when, when the time's right, uh, you know, you can catch yeah. me. You know, I might pop in somewhere, anywhere. Who knows? People that follow my career know I'm like, I'm one of them actors that can pop up anywhere at any time. You know, after 30 years in the industry, it's like, yeah, Dante's. He said initially he had talked about consulting on the Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix series, but before that actually really turned into a big thing, Mike and Brian wound up leaving the project. He said he'd still have to be involved with that series if it winds up working out. But he said he's also got an upcoming meeting with Mike and Brian via Zoom to talk about all things Avatar in the universe. So it sounds like they'll also talk a little bit about potential future animated projects as well. But just in terms of when they'd actually be able to do a new animated series, remember, there's probably a little bit of a cooling off period with their Netflix contract. So they'd have to wait a little while before they could actually develop one. But they do have the upcoming Paramount Plus investor meeting. Hopefully they'll announce something about the Avatar franchise during that. My assumption is they were to start an Avatar project in the next year or two, it would take them till like 2023, 2024 before you actually see any kind of test animation or anything like that. But just in terms of what's going on with that Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix series after they left the project, so Netflix is still making that. They didn't say when they plan on releasing it, but pretty much all the people they hired to help them develop that project are still working on it. They said that they trust them, so I have a feeling that it'll at least be okay, but hopefully we'll get a look at what it's going to actually be in the next year or so. But hopefully that explains what's going on. It just sounds exciting. 2021 already looking up so much better than 2020. Potential new animated Avatar The Last Airbender series. So everyone let me know in the comments, what kind of new animated series would you want them to do if they can do anything that they want? You may remember the rumors about an Avatar The Last Airbender season four. I did a video about what that story would have been. It was Aaron Ehaws, the head writer on the original animated series that was talking about his pitch for what Avatar season four would have been. You can click here to find out what that story would have been. It would have mostly focused on Azula. And click here for all my Marvel Phase 4 trailer videos for the Marvel shows that are starting next week with WandaVision. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and Happy New Year.